everybody, what's going on? Greg Sussman here alongside Kelly Garrett because FanDuel has debuted a brand new game, and it's the FanDuel Tennis Contest. Debuting for Wimbledon, and help me break it down, Kelly Garrett's here. What's up, Kelly? So much, Greg. I'm pretty psyched. Absolutely. You can see how psyched you are based on the ping pong table behind you. You've been <laughs> able to fit a tennis court in your house. Understand <laughs> like that. So we got this brand new tennis game over on FanDuel, and we're going to go over uh, how it works. You have six player slots. We're going to give you on today's show two high player, uh, two high price players, two mid tier players, and then two value players. So let's start with a high price player who you like. Who is the highest price player that you're choosing in your FanDuel lineup? Straight shock with Serena Williams. Uh, this fantasy game is going to reward uh, players who win in straight sets. Players who have a great ace to uh, double fault ratio. And Serena fills both those boxes. Uh, seven of her last 10 wins have been in straight sets. Uh, the, one of the ones that wasn't was to Simona Halep, who was number one at the time. So that's not a um, huge detriment to her, uh, to picking her. Uh, 25 bucks is a decent price. I'm thinking she's going to get this done in straight sets, which will give you the bonus necessary. Serena Williams at $25 over on FanDuel. She's the second highest priced player on the board on Thursday. It's Roger Federer who is priced higher, but Kelly's going with Serena based on the matchup and based on how we expect her to dominate. Up next, sticking in the high price range, we go with Sam Query. What do you like about Sam? Uh, Sam Query's on a roll. He played uh, remarkable last week in Eastbourne in one of the warm-up tournaments, made the final there, uh, barely dropped a set on his way to the final. Uh, he had a great uh, debut at Wimbledon uh, on Tuesday. He, uh, his last four return games, he broke serve against Dominic Team. He's a much better player than the guy he's playing against, uh, Andre Rublev, on Thursday. Uh, the FanDuel game also rewards you for breaking serve. Uh, there's four bonus points every time you break serve. And Query is someone who surprisingly breaks serve about 19% of the time on grass. So I, th I think he's not only going to probably win in straight sets, but he might be able to do it without having to go to a lot of tie breaks, which should help your score. Query is priced at $19, which is not super high on this board. There's a ton of players ahead of him, including a guy like Rafa Nadal, who's priced at 23 Query is somebody that started off hot at Wimbledon, is coming off a really good performance last weekend, and we expect him to continue his winning ways here this week at Wimbledon. But let's stay in this middle tier, because that's really where Query is, and we'll get to Petra Kvitova, who's priced at $17, definitely right in that middle tier. What do you like about Kvitova? Uh, Petra Kvitova has great history at Wimbledon. She's won this tournament twice. She is super comfortable on grass. She's also a player who, once she gets hot and gets rolling, she continues to win straight set matches all the time. Um, like I've suggested uh, with the first two players, you want to find players who are have a small chance to lose a set. You want to get straight sets victories where possible. And Kvitova has, um, she won in straight sets yesterday. And at the Aussie Open this year, once she got going, she won every match on the way to the final in straight sets. She did the same thing in Sydney earlier this year. Uh, once she gets hot, she stays hot. Um, and she's super comfortable on grass. So I like her matchup, her opponent, uh, Mladenovic, having a rough kind of past 18 months. So um, I'm excited for Kvitova to get it done in straight sets, especially at $17. Like you say, she's kind of in the mid-pack of players. And uh, I think she's good value. Kvitova is a straight set dominator, and we expect that to continue here uh, after doing that in the opening round at Wimbledon. Let's keep it going here for Kvitova. We move on, and we get to Taylor Fritz, who's priced at $16, just a dollar less than Kvitova. What do you think about Taylor Fritz? Taylor Fritz is one of the hottest players on the ATP right now. He won Eastbourne last week, beating Query in that final. And he plays a guy uh, on Thursday in Yan Leonard Stroop who wins less than 30% of his matches on grass. Uh, Taylor Fritz is also really good in tie breaks. There are a ton of tie breaks on grass. And uh, he's already got a winning record as a young player. So I think he'll be super comfortable if this is a very serve-oriented matchup. And uh, Stroop is someone who struggles in tie breaks, which is probably why his record on grass isn't that great. And uh, I see Fritz being able to uh, get it done in straight sets, which, again, is key. And uh, he, sh he should be able to do it, whether it's tight breaks or whether he has to break serve to get there. 
As you said, Taylor Fritz, one of the hottest players on the ATP right now. To get him at just $16, it's a really good price. It's an undervalued number. So it makes uh, no sense not to have Fritz in your lineup tomorrow. So make sure you get him in there. And now we get to our value picks, players that are a bit cheaper. So let me throw this at you, Kelly. Name one player here that has to be in your lineups. Chuan Wang is uh, somebody who I'm really excited to have in my lineup. She uh, has won her last four victories have been in straight sets. And I think we've actually identified a disparity between the FanDuel tournament and the actual betting market. Uh, Wang is $11 tomorrow, and she's actually the favorite in her match. So I'm going to take advantage of that, and I'm going to jump on her. She is going to, uh, I think she should be able to get done in straight sets. Chuan Wang is a young competitor, but a really strong competitor, and we expect her to be to be successful here this week at Wimbledon. She won her first match, and obviously, uh, as you just heard from Kelly, is the favorite in her next match. Getting a favorite here at just eleven dollars, it's a price too good to pass up. Put Wang in your lineups this week. Finally, we get to one last value play, Kelly, and that's Baghdadis, who is ten dollars. But we know he's had success in the past. Why do you expect it to continue here in this round at Wimbledon? This is a bit of a tugging on the heartstrings pick. Um, he's in top against Matteo Berrettini, who's been a bit of a revelation on grass this year. But Berrettini's put in a ton of time. He went to a semifinal and a fi- final prior to getting to Wimbledon. So he might be running out of gas a little bit. He dropped a set in his first match against uh, Bedne and was actually pushed to a four-set tiebreak. So I think Baghdadis is someone who's super comfortable on grass. He's been to a semifinal and a quarterfinal at Wimbledon, and he recently announced he's shutting it down for the career. This is kind of his last tournament. So I think he's going to want to put max effort in. Uh, he won in straight sets on Tuesday, and i like to see him put up a, a good fight against Berrettini on Thursday. And at ten bucks, it's a it's a pretty good deal. Marcos Baghdad is one of or used to be one of the best players in the world. You're getting him at ten dollars, and as you said, it's a little bit of the heartstrings. It's one of these guys that we all know, and hopefully, he can get the job done in this round at Wimbledon. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, Kelly's gonna stick with me, and we're gonna take a look at his six favorite bets for this round at Wimbledon. You're not gonna want to miss this because this is how you win money, people. Stick around. More from the hurry up coming up right after this. Back with you here on The Hurry Up, Greg Sussman, Kelly Garrett hanging out with you. And Kelly, we went over your favorite FanDuel picks for tomorrow. Now it's time to get in your best bets, man. All right, let's do it. All right, we'll begin with somebody we just talked about. And it's your boy, Sam Query, makes the cut. You like him to win three sets to nothing, which you're getting at plus 110. Why do you think Query dominates? Yeah, I'm all over Query to just railroad Rublev here. Uh, Andre Rublev's had a real up and down last 18 months. Uh, Sam Query's kind of in a groove. Uh, when he's serving like this, he's ready to rock and roll. He's gone to the semifinals and the quarterfinals at Wimbledon before. Uh, I think he's, I picked him to make a similar run this year. And uh, I think he's kind of in the groove. 22 aces on Tuesday. Uh, I see a similar performance. Uh, Rublev's biggest detriment is his serve. And uh, as I suggested in the last video, uh, Query can actually break serve about 19% of the time on grass. So I'm pretty excited to see if he can uh, get this done without too many tie breaks. All right, hopefully he can get the job done. Win us the bet. Clean sweep his way in the next round. That's Sam Query. Plus 110 to win this one 3-0. Let's move on to another one of your favorite bets here, Kelly. What do you like most next? I got Jill Simone next, a uh, Frenchman who I actually don't have a great history betting on. Uh, but I, sometimes the head-to-head is a big thing in tennis, and it's hard, really hard to ignore this one. Uh, it's really lopsided in Simone's favor. Uh, he plays tennis Angren tomorrow, and uh, they've played twice in the past, and both matches ended with breadsticks in the final set, uh, including on grass last year. Uh, tennis Angren, his first actual main draw grass win came on Tuesday. Uh, I don't see him being able to repeat that feat, and I'm guessing he's kind of going to get blown out. So I'm taking the minus six and a half games, uh, and you can get that at even money. I'm all over it. Simone at minus six and a half games. It's one you want badly, Kelly. You said uh, off air he owes you? He owes me, yeah. I don't have a very good history with this player, so (laughs) he better win. Either he'll let you down again or he'll make some cash. Hopefully it's the latter because all of us are hoping so. 
Let's continue on. We'll get to your only parlay on this week's card. You like a couple of players to just win outright. Who do you like? Yeah, I like uh, Fabio Fonini and John Isner, both on the money line. Uh, if you put them together, you can get it just into plus money. I think I got plus 103. Um, and I'm basically fading both their opponents. Uh, Fabio Fonini is playing Martin Fuksovic. Uh, Fuksovic isn't that great on grass. He wins less than 30% of the time. And uh, Fonini is basically someone you can throw his stats out the window and basically focus on whether or not he's motivated. Uh, he played a tough five-setter on Tuesday. And if he was going to pack it in and uh, you know get out of Wimbledon, he would have done so on Tuesday. Uh, he stuck it out. He fought through five sets. I think he wants to be here for a couple more days, um, taking him to, to beat Vucevic. And uh, I'm going to pair it with John Isner. Uh, Isner's been off for like, I don't know, four months, three months. Uh, but he came back, looked healthy, uh, managed to actually break serve a couple times, didn't have to rely on tie breaks too much. And so I'm pretty comfortable with where his game's at, and I think he'll get it done. He's playing uh, Mikhail Kukushkin, who he actually kind of owns. Uh, they've played four times in the past, and I don't think Kukushkin's ever won a set. So pretty comfortable with this parlay. All right, it's a pretty solid parlay that you're getting at a good price here, plus 103. We'll take those odds just to have both uh, players win here on the money line. We expect it to uh, come through for us and make us a little bit of cash. Let's continue on because we talked about Taylor Fritz earlier. And you think Fritz gets the job done uh, with the spread being minus two and a half games. Again, that minus 110. We talked about Fritz earlier, but why do you like this bet in particular? Uh, I like this bet because, as I said before, Taylor Fritz is he's pretty hot right now. Um, he is playing someone who... You can fade on grass. Uh, Ian Leonard Stoop doesn't have a great grass uh, record. And I think that uh, Taylor Fritz is going to be able to get it done, whether it goes to tie breaks or not. Uh, Taylor Fritz has got a great record in tie breaks as a young kid. And that's pretty important on grass at Wimbledon. I uh, like two and a half games. You can get it at minus 110. And uh, this allows him to even drop a set if he has to and still get the job done. It's a pretty good number here to get uh, Taylor Fritz at minus 110 to be at minus two and a half games. Really good spot for Fritz. We talked about him earlier. He should be both in your FanDuel lineups as well as on your betting card here this week. We continue on and we're taking another shutout three to nothing. Who are you going with this time though? I got Moran Cilic here winning straight sets over A.O. Sousa. Um, Sousa has one of the worst travel schedules of anybody in the Wimbledon draw. He played, he is playing in four different countries in four straight weeks. He started the grass season in Holland. He went to Germany. Then he went to Turkey. Now he's in London. Um, don't like that. There's only one other player who made it through the first round at Wimbledon that had a similar travel, travel schedule, and that was Andrea Seppi. And Seppi played today and got bagged, maybe breadsticked in the fifth set. Just fell apart, ran out of gas. Um, I expect the same thing from Sousa. He's played Chilich four times before, and they've, he's never even won a set. Uh, Chilich dominated the head-to-head. -head. Um, pretty comfortable with this, going three straight sets. Take that number, put it on your card, make some money. You're getting it at one, minus 120, but our man Kelly Garrett's confident in the move, so make sure you put it in there. All right, we've gone almost a full half hour here, Kelly, without mentioning or putting in our lineups or on our card, Rafa Nadal and Roger Federer, who are both in action coming up. But finally, we get to Rafa Nadal, and you like him at minus four and a half games, minus 125. Why betting on Nadal rather than Federer? What's the idea here? Uh, so Federer had a little concerning first set on Tuesday. Uh, he dropped a set to a guy he should have steamrolled. Um, uh, the matchup he has on Thursday, he's an even bigger favorite, and I'm not sure that I want to step into those waters. Um, Federer's definitely at a stage of his career where he's happy to get up a break and just kind of cruise through the set. So uh, Nadal is the opposite of that. He is constantly looking to destroy his opponent. Uh, he's playing someone in Nick Kyrgios, who they have a history together. Um, they've played six times. They've split it evenly, three and three. Uh, Kyrgios is very bombastic. He is uh, a public favorite. There's going to be tons of people lining up to take him on the money line because they think he's going to get super motivated and jacked up to be one of the legends of the game. But the doll's going to be just as jacked up. He wants to take this guy down just as much as Kyrgios wants to take him down. And uh, as much as Federer gets uh, forgotten as to how good he is on uh, clay, 
The same is true of Nadal on grass. He's won Wimbledon twice. He went to the semifinals last year. He's super comfortable on grass. His uh, grass court stats uh, are just as good as anybody on tour, uh, save maybe Djokovic. And you also have the factor of Kyrgios giving up in sets. Uh, sometimes when he gets down an early break, he just kind of shuts it down. So the four and a half games doesn't worry me. If Nadal's going to win this, there's a good chance he's going to put up a 6-1, 6 love, 6-2 kind of set. And uh, I'm happy to see him get through this in four sets. And there'll probably be a blowout set in there. And I think he'll, he'll put it Kyrgios away. Rafa Nadal in a position to dominate this week. We've seen it before at Wimbledon. Hopefully it happens again. Minus four and a half games here uh, for Rafa Nadal. Hopefully he'll get the job done for us. Kelly Garrett, we appreciate the time, man. Where can people follow you on Twitter for more advice? Check me out on Twitter at Big Ten Watto. I put out tennis content every single day of the year. At Big Ten Watto on Twitter. Get in the FanDuel game. Get those bets in and have some fun. For Kelly Garrett, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching the FanDuel. Hurry up. Happy Independence Day. We'll see you back here on Monday to start our fantasy football coverage.